In this video, we're going to be learning about exponents, basis, powers, the exponential form, and the expanded form. So let's take a look at repetitive multiplication. So an example of this would be 5 times 5 times 5. Notice here that 5 is being multiplied 3 times. Well, instead of writing all of this out, there actually happens to be a way to write the exact same meaning in a much simpler form. So in order to do this, we just have to ask ourselves two simple questions. The first question is, what is the number being multiplied over and over again? In this case, we see that 5 is the number that is being multiplied repetitively. So we write down 5 right over here, and then we ask ourselves the second question. How many 5s are being multiplied together? So you literally just count the number of 5s. You see 1, 2, 3. So there are three fives being multiplied together, and you put the number three at the top right corner of the bigger number. So again, these two things represent the exact same value. They're just different ways to write the same thing. Now, instead of saying big number or small number, there are actual mathematical words for these things. The big number is something we call the base. The small number up here is something we call the exponent. And when you look at the base and the exponent put together, we call all of that a power. So now that we know what the base, the exponent, and the power is, how would we go about actually reading this? Well, as an example, this over here would be read as 5 to the exponent 3. And this example over here would be read as 7 to the exponent 12. Alright, so now if we see something like 2 to the exponent 4, we know that this is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So there are clearly two different ways to write the same thing here. On the left side, you have the exponential form, and on the right side, you have the expanded form. You can see that they are literally equal to each other. They represent the same number. So if I give you the exponential form, then you should be able to derive the expanded form. Reversely, if I give you the expanded form, then you should be able to write down the equivalent exponential form. So let's try a couple of examples here. Let's say I gave you the exponential form. 7 to the exponent 2. How would you write the expanded form? Well, that would just be 7 times 7. Reversely, let's say I gave you an expanded form. Perhaps 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. Well, we see here 12 is the number that's being multiplied repeatedly, so we know that the base is going to be 12. And for the exponent, how many 12s are being multiplied together? Well, we just need to count this. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the exponent is 4. Great. So the idea of an exponent is something that's not too difficult to understand. We get the fact that when a number is being multiplied repeatedly, we can write that either in the expanded form or the exponential form. But the question is why? Why do we have two different ways to write the same thing? Now, presumably, you already knew how to use the expanded form. So why should we have the exponential form as well? Well, consider an example where the exponent is a really, really large number. Let's say we have 2 to the exponent 1 million. Imagine writing this out in the expanded form. We would have to literally write out 1 million different twos, and then a multiplication sign in between every single one of those twos. And of course, it's in this kind of situation when we realize just how much time we would save 
writing out the exponential form as opposed to the expanded form. So now, let's just look at a final example to recap everything we learned today. We have over here the exponential form. And over here, we have the expanded form. We know that this over here is the base. The small number here is the exponent. And of course, the base and the exponent put together is called a power. We also know that the exponential form is equal to the expanded form in the end. If you simplify the exponential form and you simplify the expanded form, you will arrive upon the exact same value. There are just two different ways to say the same meaning. It's similar to how TV and television are two different words, but they literally mean the same thing in the end. And of course, we learned that using the exponential form as opposed to the expanded form can save us quite a lot of time, especially when the exponent is a very large number.